Make sure your scan partner didn't leave half the intestines in there. Okay, so now you've butchered your rabbits, now what? Well, we're going to show you how to properly put these rabbits up, ready for the freezer. There's our rabbit, and that's just in water, but it's cool out here. Water's cool. I just want them to stay in there maybe an hour. I'm going to drain that water, and then just put ice on them. And actually, I'll shove ice in the, where the cavity would be. So make sure they're layered, not sitting on top of each other put ice in between them we'll do that here next all right so real quick all i got I got a layer of ice layer of rabbits layer of ice layer of rabbits uh my drain is on this end i'm gonna keep my liver and everything else away from it that liver will clog that drain up quicker than anything if you gotta let some water out so i'm gonna dump another bag of ice right here and call it a day all right so now you've got you your rabbits that you butchered now what do you do with them well here's a few right here now they've been in a cooler of ice i think ours have been on been on for about two or three days now we're going to give them a good rinse and another inspection make sure there's nothing in there that you don't want no fur make sure your scan partner didn't leave half the intestines in there clean looking rabbit we're going and i kind of bend them because they've been in the cooler they're a little bit stiff now we got these texas poultry bags these are 10 inches by 16 inches you want to put them in just, <clears throat> just like that with his butt in the air nice i could probably get two of these in there if i really wanted to but we'll just do one at a time but maybe you don't want a whole rabbit. <clears throat> so we're going to quarter one up. That's what we call the wing or the front leg. You can see there's a little place right here. Right beside the rib cage. These legs, same thing. You can see there's a line that goes right here. Let me turn it this way. They, they almost just pulled right apart. There's your back legs. Now here's your back. Now, you can cut right here where these ribs are. And you can see this, the loin part right here. Now, sometimes people will cut them straight in the back, straight in the middle, and cook both sides. Because there's still meat right here. Let me take this little bit of stuff off here. Now you get a better view. So there's actually meat all the way through here. Now I've already taken that belly flap out when, <clears throat> when I actually butchered it. So it's up to you, however you want to do it. I think we're just going to do it, we'll do it halfway. So there's the loin part. 
there's basically the back part, but you still have those meat, that meat right there. Now you can debone this out if you wanted to. So we're gonna do a couple of them like that. All right, so you send this bag, this one up, bud in the air. We'll show you what we're gonna do with this. But we want some of these whole, the way we, put, we can use that in a crock pot or maybe on a smoker. I go ahead and quarter these up because now that's good for the frying pan, just like you would chicken. So let's go back to bagging. All right, so we got our 10 by 16 uh, Texas poultry bags. They're great for the rabbit, just right size. When you order these bags, you get zip ties. You have this little tube here and you get labels. Now, we just write rabbit and the date. We don't, we're not weighing these out. These are just for personal consumption. So basically we're gonna heat this water up to 195. We're at 180 right now. It won't take just a few minutes. And then we'll get started. All right, so we're getting real close to our 195. <clears throat> What we do, put this rabbit, remember, butt in the air. Okay, we're at 195. Let me cut that, cut that down. That's where this pipe comes in. It's going to go right through there. Don't push this butt. Squeeze that. Give it a good twist. twist go ahead and put this zip tie on put that zip tie on tighten it down you can when you tighten this zip tie you can still pull this tube out that's not going to be an, be an issue get your glove you need to have a glove this rabbit you're gonna hear the air coming out of this vent when I quit hearing the air come out of this that's when I pull it out pull it out take these pliers Tighten that zip tie up. Just that simple. I cut the end of that zip tie. That is a perfectly bagged rabbit. Good and tight. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, don't waste your money on these cheap bags. Go ahead and go to Texas Poultry. These are New Zealand rabbits. This is a 10 by 16 bag. I don't think they actually label them as rabbit bags. They're actually labeled as a chicken bag, I believe. But 10 by 16, excellent job. We're just gonna take that label and put it on here somewhere. Maybe right there. It's like a fine place for it. You can actually trim that off if you want to. I probably will. But I hope this helps somebody. There's always any out of boys, criticism, comments. We appreciate you watching.